1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Abdul Rafi Sohail. First, the headlines. National Assembly was informed today in categorical terms that the country faces no risk of default. International Defense Exhibition and Seminar Ideas 2022 is concluding today at Karachi Expo Center. Pakistan calls for preserving principles of the UN Charter and the structure of constructive and cooperative multilateralism. And China has called for launching joint efforts to promote prosperity for all in the Asia-Pacific. And now the news in detail. The National Assembly was informed in categorical terms today that the country faces no risk of default. Minister of State for Finance Aisha Ghos Pasha told the House during question hour that the country was faced with a difficult situation when the present coalition government came into power as the IMF program was suspended. She said we have revived the IMF program while improvement is being seen in exports and remittances are also pouring in the country. She said the investors are showing interest for investment in the country as a result of our reforms. The Minister of State said the international community has shown the intent to help Pakistan in the post-flood reconstruction and rehabilitation efforts. Aisha Ghaz Pasha said policies are being framed to enhance the size of the formal economy by bringing potential taxpayers into the tax net. The National Assembly today passed a resolution reassuring to safeguard rights of all children as enshrined in the 1973 Constitution and under the UN Convention on Rights of Child for a more equal and inclusive Pakistan. The resolution moved by Mehnaz Akbar Aziz recognized the rights of every child as well as mothers and the need for provision of the best available early care and safe environment for all children. The resolution strongly condemned merciless practices of child trafficking, abuse, pornography and prostitution and recommended strong legislation and its implementation to curb these inhumane and brutal offences. The 11th edition of International Defence Exhibition and Seminar Ideas 2022 is concluding today at Karachi Expo Centre. According to PEF spokesperson, National Aerospace Science and Technology Park continues to gather admiration from the visitors. The broad spectrum of the project and its national significance has made it the most successful project at at the exhibition. PEF Pavilion, with the static display of -of state-of-the-art JF-17 Thunder and Super Mushak trainer aircraft remained iconic in the mega event, with keen interest shown in the indigenously developed aircraft by the visiting delegates and senior military officials of different countries. Pakistan has called for preserving principles of the UN Charter and the structure of constructive and cooperative multilateralism. This was stated by Permanent Representative of Pakistan to the United Nations, Munir Akram, while delivering statement in the General Assembly Plenary Question of Equitable Representation on an increase in the membership of the Security Council and other matters related to the Security Council. He regretted that, unfortunately, consensus on Security Council reform has been impeded from both the outset by the demand of four countries that they be selected as new permanent members in the expanded Security Council. He said their demand violates the principle of sovereign equality of states. It it ignores the reality that permanent membership and the veto are often the cause of the Council's inaction. Ambassador of Kazakhstan to Pakistan, Yerzan Kistafin, says a transit trade agreement between Pakistan and Kazakhstan is expected to be signed soon to accelerate bilateral trade. He was addressing a seminar organized by Pakistan in the World in collaboration with the Center of Pakistan and International Relations in Islamabad. The ambassador said Kazakh President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev will also soon visit Pakistan and it will be very important in developing close relations between the two countries. Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for launching joint efforts to promote prosperity in all the Asia-Pacific. He was addressing the 29th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Economic Leaders Meeting in Bangkok today. He stressed the need to ensure the development for the people and by the people and that its fruits are shared among the people. And now cricket. The first T20 international cricket match between India and New Zealand in Wellington has been delayed due to rain. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.goe.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.